Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this scene in Blender. This is one shot from a new shot film that I'm working on currently. So the main idea of this shot was to create a abstraction of memories for the near-death experience of the main character. So I went through our house and took a bunch of pictures and assembled them into one large texture image in GIMP. Then I imported this texture as a reference image into Blender and roughly modeled the objects from the images. Then I created a new material and used the texture made out of all of these images as a color and then UV unwrapped the models with project from view. Then I just aligned the mesh with the images in a UV editor and basically repeated this process for a bunch of objects from our house. You can stay pretty low poly with this because the images contain all of the real details and I don't need the models to look super realistic because um, I'm just trying to create some kind of abstractions of these places. After you created a bunch of models, put them all into one collection. Add in a new cube, scale it up a bit. Add a new geometry node setup. Add in a distribute points on faces node and a instances on points node after that. Use a collection info node and use the collection we created with the object. Use this as the instance. Check separate and reset children. And I'm also gonna check pick instances. Now you can control how many objects there are with the density. Use a random value node to randomize the rotation of the objects. To create this animated displacement, use a extrude mesh and decrease the offset scale. Then use a checker texture to drive which parts of the mesh will be displaced and which not. Put it into the selection input. Add a position node to the vector and add a vector math. With the vector math you can keyframe the position of the checker texture, which will create this random displacement effect. Add in a mix node and use a random value set to boolean as the mix factor. Use the probability slider to control how many faces will be extruded and displaced. Use a set material after everything to apply the correct material. You can use the mesh of the cube to control where the objects are supposed to hover in the space. For the floor I used a bunch of pictures of floor textures and wrapped them onto simple planes. For the final lighting I used a point light with a IIS texture. To add a IIS texture to a point light, check use nodes, go to the shader settings and add a IIS node. Plug this one into the strength and now you can choose a external IIS texture. A IIS texture basically simulates the falloff of a real light source. You can find these textures if you just search for them on Google. IIS library for example is a great source of free textures. And finally I added a cube around everything with a volume scatter in the materials to get a little bit of haze. The blend file of the scene is also available on my Patreon page along with the short film concept and other project files. And if you want to know how I did the compositing and eventually resolve for this shot you can watch this video here.